everyone, welcome back to the Davis Manor, or welcome if you're new here. My name's Brittany, and today I have a small home goods Springoween or spooky spring or whatever you want to call it haul. And then I want to do a little bit of a decorate my coffee bar with me. Um, I don't normally do like a Springoween, and I have never really done like Valloween or Easterween that might have to come in later years, but this year I think I'm going to kind of keep it a little simple and go with Springoween, a little bit more vague. I don't have to redecorate, um, you know, so soon if I were to do Valloween and then Easterween. Springoween can last until summer whenever I start decorating for Halloween. So that was kind of my goal and my, my idea here. So let's go ahead and hop right into it and see what I got. This first item that I got, I literally gasped in the middle of the aisle. And whenever I was checking out, the cashier was like, is it starting already? I said, I hope so. But look, they had this white glittery it's kind of hard to tell but you can kind of see the glitter it's really shiny and this it's such a cute little skull and I mean I feel like it was a good size it was $20 which might be a little steep they had two of them but um, I only got one because I figured two would probably be too much for my coffee bar considering it is a little small so yeah, but anyway, here's the first thing I got. It's kind of hard to see the glitter. The next item that I got was $17, and I almost walked past this, but Drew said, hey, this looks like it might kind of be a little spooky. And I was like, you know what? You're right. It's this little stack of books with a cute golden little bird on it. Kind of giving me a little bit of almost Edgar Allan Poe type vibes, I don't know. Um, or like, I don't know, something you'd find at Michael's in like that gold section, you know, whenever they do their Halloween. I don't know what the line would be called, but maybe the Edgar Allan Poe section, I'm not sure. But anyway. I thought it was pretty cute. Okay, so this next item's not really Halloween at all or spooky, but I had to throw in a little bit of color. So I opted for purple. Um, I'm not in love with the vase portion of it, but I thought the height was good and I needed something purple. I was either gonna find something purple, green, or black. They didn't have anything black. They had a few um, things of greenery. But I just thought this one with the height and the color would be really pretty for spring. And I'll show you why I kind of decided on this color here in just a second. Okay, so the next item, I kind of just picked it because of the gold accent. Um, it's a little platform that I can set all these items on. And this was $15 and I mean, it is heavy duty. It's really heavy. If, if I don't like it on the coffee bar, we'll put it somewhere else. Last but not least, um, I kind of thought that the colors on this runner would be really pretty. It's hard to tell in the picture, um, but there's a lot of purples, greens, and golds in it. So I thought with um, the greenery, the purple flower, the gold on the the gold on the bird, and then the white of the skull, I thought would look really pretty with all this. This was $20, which I thought wasn't too bad for a runner. I think that was pretty average. That's everything that I bought. I might be able to incorporate some things that I already own in it. Um, but I kind of wanted to keep it simple, bright, and um, a, just a little touch of spooky with a lot of touch of spring. Um, and then it'll probably stay this way until, like I said, around summertime. That's when I start decorating for Halloween, so we'll have another transition then as well. But let's go ahead and get started and see how I could decorate my coffee bar.
it's a new day and I went up to storage and I got a couple things out that I thought would look good with my coffee bar. So I thought I would show you what I got. All right, we'll start down here. I got a little tree, a rat, and then this, um, it's like a bleeding candle skull. And then I picked up this book. It's like one of those books that, um, it's like a little storage thing. You can lift it open. I thought the purple would be really cute. And then I got this Black Cat Tavern um, just to kind of put in the back there, just to kind of give it a little bit of more height. And then I got some pictures hung up, Hocus Pocus Apothecary, I thought would be really cute. And it kind of has like a spring kind of look to it. I mean, not on its own, but with the wood on the table, with the black and the white, I just thought it looked kind of springy all together. And then I got this Happy Halloween sign that has purple on it to tie that in. Then of course I had to have a home sweet haunted home next to it. So there it is, my spring Halloween coffee bar. All right, well that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you thought that this turned out as cute as I thought it did. Let me know if you're decorating your house for spring Halloween or spooky spring or Easter Halloween or if you prefer Halloween. What do you decorate for in the spring? I normally have never done this before, but I went with spring Halloween. Curious, what do you do? Let me know that in the comments. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.